Hey guys, the dude of two. Uh, welcome to my Go channel. Uh, for many of you, it's welcome back to my Go channel. Again, thank you for that. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I have a lot of different reviews for products and books, etc. So I'm just kind of continuing with that. Um, today I have two board games, um, some of which you may be able to buy at a regular store. Um, I, somebody, I've had people tell me they were able to find this one at Target. Um, sometimes, you know, when you have the mall, uh, you go to the mall and you, uh, during Christmas season, you um, see those uh, stores sent up in the center kiosk, you know, seasonal, and they sell a bunch of games. Uh, this one was bought there. Um, and this one my wife just bought for me at Goodwill. So um, I figured I would do a review of these uh, Go Games. They're by Hanson. Um, and they've been making board games since 1947. Um, they're very uh, basic type sites. Uh, this one is from actually 1977. And this one, I believe, I'll have to look and see if I can find a date for it. But uh, it's definitely much uh, more modern. So this is the board game Go, a game of Oriental Strategy. And this is Go, a game of Oriental Strategy Deluxe. So we'll check out what's inside and uh, I'll give you my impressions on them. Um, you can see for one thing that this, pushing all the way to the side, uh, is a much bigger box. This one uh, claims to come with a solid wood playing board. So uh, that's pretty much the main difference. Let's take a look at the uh, regular one first. So you open it, open the box, and this is actually a newspaper article. Get rid of that. Uh, you have a opening uh, a board, a board that opens. It's actually pretty much a standard size go board. Uh, actually, I would go as far as to say this is a standard size go board. Let's see, here's a regular go stone. Yeah, I think it could fit. Uh, all in there. So it's pretty nice. Um, they sell uh, cheap go boards, uh, you know, for a reasonable price. And uh, this is actually better than some of those cheap foam type fold out ones. So um, that in itself is uh, pretty neat. And then it comes with, um, let's see, is there anything? Yeah, under here is a book. Uh, the book is a basic book. It explains the rules. Um, yeah, pretty neat rule book. Uh, it's probably not as simple as a popular Away to Go book that's free uh, for the American Go Association if you haven't heard. But um, a neat little book. Um, it may actually be a collector's item. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, pretty neat. My wife picked it up. It's got all the parts to it um, for um, a couple bucks at a Goodwill. So uh, it's pretty nice. I'm sure somebody somebody would enjoy this here. Um, again, it's definitely nothing fancy. The reason I didn't take the stones out to review them is they're the exact same stones as in this deluxe version. Now, the deluxe version comes with the same book. Same pictures, um, same examples, but we see it has a wooden go board and the same uh, uh, stones and the same containers, etc. So, um, pretty neat. Now, let me open this one more time just to show you. The board difference in size, in case you couldn't tell, is pretty massive. Uh, you can see this is a small board. So, um, you know, even though it's the deluxe and you're getting a wood board, you're getting a small wood board. There's, uh, it's a, it's an all right, all right piece of board. Uh, it's a uh, plywood part of the board. You can see that we have four, um, you know, like table 
protect it here to make sure that, uh, you know, it doesn't, uh, you know, scratch a cable, etc. And, um, this, since this was the first ghost set I've ever, um, owned, uh, actual ghost set, I went on the back and made a 13 by 13 board. Uh, if you remember in my earlier videos, I recommended the 13 by 13 board for learning, you know, tactics and strategy. So, uh, I actually did that, but, so this shows you, uh, the size of the board. Uh, it's pretty small. Now, the stones are a very small plastic, um, <clears throat> and they're about perfect size for the small board, but they are a bit small for this large board here. As you can see, they're actually so small, they're just barely, you have to have a lot of control to be able to pick them up and put them down the proper way. But it is a nice little portable board. Uh, it's not terrible. Um, you know, in some situations, you know, especially if you're sitting at a table, you know, at a public place on a small table, uh, this this might be uh, quite a bit preferred. Um, as far as how it looks, you know, this will... Uh, you know, give you a general idea about it. Um, pretty neat. Now, on the on the large board, you see that the stones are just quite a bit too small. You know, we'll play a play a standard approach here. I mean, it'll just mess with your mess with your mind. You know, playing with teeny tiny stones there. But um, it is a nice starter set, especially if you're somebody you want to get involved in the game. Uh, it comes with everything you need, stones, uh, baggies, board, um, a box, and uh, you know instructions on how to play, etc. So uh, they're both pretty neat little sets. Again, um, at the time when these came out, it was pretty difficult. You know, Most people didn't do online shopping and stuff, and this was kind of what a lot of people used for years. This was uh, kind of the deal, you know. And um, even though for the price, I'd say I don't, I don't remember. I, I think I paid like thirty bucks for this. Uh, it, it's something I would definitely regret if I spent that much money now, you know. But um, it's not a it's not a bad little set, and um, you know everything in hindsight, you know. But um, it's also true that a lot of these places, they, you know, they can't get stuff shipped to them from other countries or whatever, and so, uh, you know, this may work very well for some people, and um, it's it's not terrible. I mean, it is it's a cheaper set, but um, again, make a pretty nice gift, and uh, you know, say you want to get your kid into it, but you don't want to spend a lot of money at first. You know, you get them a kid or set like this or give it to somebody as a gift to get them into the game and if they show an interest and they're playing it a lot and doing pretty good um, then uh, you know you move up to something uh, more money so uh, it's a cheaper set uh, not terrible and um, you know uh, I'm sure it need, fits a need somewhere for somebody out there so I thought I'd uh, give these review in case you saw these in the store again this one's from 77. I'm pretty sure I bought this one around around the year 2000 or something. You know, maybe a, maybe 2002, 2004, or somewhere around there uh, at the mall. So um, I've actually seen this one time since, but I can't quite remember where. So I thought I'd uh, do this little review for you guys. Um, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, criticisms, as always, uh, drop me a line. I, I respond to everybody, uh, whether it's good or bad. Uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and uh, I look forward to doing another review or video with you guys. Take it easy.